Okay, good morning or afternoon, whatever the case may be. Uh, one of today's projects, which is long overdue, is I'm going to be installing my Midnight Solar MS SPD search protector devices. This one has actually been on my shelf over there on the wall by my magnums since I moved in here. So this one's been around five years. And take a good look at it. This one is dated 2006. Uh, this one I just purchased last week. And the price has actually come down. You can see they're different. Same model number, same rating, just different guts inside. Technical term. I'll take you outside and show you what I'm doing. I'm finally going to hook these up. Getting ready to shut the system down and commission these. I'll show you how I did it. Okay, on the side of my uh, Midnight Solar MNPV6, I ended up drilling two 7 8 inch holes through the inside. And I'll show you what I got going on in here. I'm about to shut the system down so I don't electrocute myself or cause any injury. And up in here, I'm also going to finish this. I actually cut this bus bar. I've got four PV inputs coming in on this bus bar going to the Midnight Classic. This one here goes to what's now hooked up as the Outback. I'm going to extend that cut a bit, make it a bit wider and shield it. And then this will have the Q cells over here and this is going to have another rack of uh, solar cells here. And over there are two panels and I've got two more identical to that. That silly me. I forgot I even had those were on the side of my shed covered up with some roof metal. I didn't even realize I still had those. Those could have been hooked up all winter. So silly me. All right, anyway, I'm going to come out here and hook these up. One here, one here. I was going to put one over here on this side. Then I realized this second actuator for the north-south on the solar tracker. I did I break that right off? So I'm glad I thought of that before it was too late. All right, I'll be back as I get more into this, but uh, these shouldn't take too long to hook up. Then I'll actually have my uh, surge protection devices out here where they belong, on top of all the grounding issues that are already present. All right, sorry about the camera work, more to come. Okay, I have the holes drilled. I have the uh, SPDs installed. Now I'm gonna wire them up. It's pretty simple, green to ground, red to positive, black to negative. I modified the top of this bus bar that I cut in half, ground it all the way back, and I've got a little piece of door edge guard here to isolate it. It fits in there nicely. I'm going to hook that all up, and I'll show you when I'm done, and we'll run the test. It's actually pretty simple. Okay, I've got the uh, SPDs installed, uh, DC 300 volts. I tried to hook these up as carefully as possible and keeping the wires as short as possible and not making any sharp bends. These four breakers here are the three solar trackers with 215 amps coming, coming off the uh, trainer cells that I'm under right now. This 30 amp breaker over here where I split the bus bar goes over to the other solar tracker that has 215 amp breakers on it with the uh, 340 volt Q, Q cell panels on it and I have one extra breaker here I'm gonna hook these other panels to so I'm gonna go turn the service on flip the breakers on the solar tracker controllers and then turn these on and I should have some LED lights if I did it properly it's pretty basic all right I'm gonna go uh, flip some switches and I'll be back hopefully I got some LED Okay, I'm going to take my uh, positive lead. The breakers are on. We're going to check the VOC. 108. 108.9. 110. 103. And the Q cells should be nice and warm. Yep, 132.9 VOC. All right, let's switch some breakers. Hope they don't get any magic smoke. We should have LEDs popping on. Yes, we do. That one does nothing. 
Okay, cool. They're working. Yeah, we got the little blue LEDs. Fantastic. All right, let me take you inside. We're going to flip the main breaker. Right back. That was apparently a success. Okay, back inside at the panel. We're going to turn the PV into the charge controllers. We got the blue lights on the SPDs. It should be back in action. They're waking up. There we go. There's the midnight pulling in 2158. And the Outback's bringing in 1170. Somewhat cloudy. So that's it. That's a success. That's the midnight solar surge protection devices have been installed. One more item off the list. A whole lot going on here. I got wiring here on the bench. That's 240 volts coming in for the big generator I'm install. Uh, I, I have. This switch is going to go up on the wall over here. With this Magnum system, you can run 120 volts and charge at 50% rate, or you can run 240 volts and charge at 100% capacity. So I'm going to have these all hooked up for 240 with the breakaway switch for my small 25 amp 120 service where the master will run at 50% capacity. That one will run at 100% capacity, 50% capacity when I hook it up to 240. So that's pretty interesting. That's next. And the wall layout is being done as we speak in the background. So more to come, but that's the SPDs have been installed and we're back in business. Thanks for watching.